Good afternoon. Today is the 16th of March and um, I really wasn't looking to talk about things like this on my channel really ever, but I was due to attend the NEC restoration show next weekend along with I'm sure a lot of other channels who you know. I know Ian Seabrook from Hub Nut was gonna go. Um James Colden Rubbish Mechanic, he was planning on do on going as well. And it's uh, it's been postponed. It's um not gonna be happening. Therefore what's gonna have to happen apart from my mother closing the boot of her car, which you've just seen, um is um some contingency plans and um I was wondering if some of you may be able to help with that. So the postponement of the NEC uh, Practical Classics Restoration Show will mean that there are people who've booked accommodation in the area, that's like me, um, and have made plans to be there who've booked time around other things. And um, this obviously may, will mean a sort of hole in the content um, that, that I was going to do down there. Um, it was going to be um, several shambolic shuffles and things like that. Which I, I thought maybe many of you would enjoy that. I was very blessed to be in, invited as well uh, by uh, Planet Auto to go round um, as part of their team, um, as I did at Autosport International a, a couple of months ago. And so I would have been able to have access to the press stuff and things like that. Um, obviously, I'm very grateful again for Planet Auto for sorting that out for me. But, you know, it's academic now. It doesn't really, doesn't really matter. The thing is, is that I think some of you would like <laughs> to have some stuff on my channel rather than me just talking, which um, otherwise it, it would be, which is kind of fun. But, you know, there's a lot more to the motoring world than me just sitting here talking to you all the time. Um, so let's think about what we can do instead. One of the successes um, on the channel recently has been no budget reviews. So far, we've had four episodes for Suzuki Jimny, the MG ZTT, the Jaguar X-Type, and uh, my Rover 216. And everybody seems to love no-budget reviews. They're very um, easy to film, relatively speaking. Um, I still have to edit them, and I'm not very good at editing, so the way they come out is the way they come out. But there's a lot of people out there who like to run cars that cost less than a £1,000, and I understand that a lot of these cars are interesting, simple things. And so I'd like to do some more no-budget reviews. If you happen to be in the uh, Birmingham Coventry area um, during the week, um, and um, that the NEC was going to be, and I was I was due to stay from the 26th to the 29th of March at the accommodation that I booked, which is near the NEC, um, then let me know. Um, obviously, I'll be up to some things. Maybe Mr. Coleman. Perhaps there'll be some people who um, will want to show me their cars and maybe I can do a walk around of some of them. But so if you do have an, an interesting car um, or and well, you know, something you think would be interesting. I, I there's a, <laughs> the sort of things I've done on my channel. It's so wide that it really could be virtually anything, to be honest, obviously not something that I've done already, um, unless it's a particularly special one. So for example, if You've got a Rover 400 Tour. I mean, I've done a Rover R8 in the last week on the channel, and I did a Rover Tomcat last year. So, you know, obviously I don't want to do necessarily another Tomcat or another standard R8, but I do a Tour. No question about that. So, yeah, of course, you know, if you walk car walk around can be virtually anything. I've done, you know, everything from the Jaguar E Type right the way through to a 2019 Hyundai Kona. Um, I, don't, I don't really mind. No budget reviews though does have some quite strict limitations on it the car must be available to buy um for us a thousand pounds with a decent example of an mot now some of the cars and no budget reviews that i've done um are not necessarily cars that cost for the individual owner um a thousand pounds i think the um Suzuki jimny was 1500 and i think the mg zt was 1250 so those individual cars might have cost the owner a little bit more because they're in a bit of nicer condition than some of the standard ones. But generally speaking, they have to be cars that you can buy for less than a thousand pounds with an MOT that are in decent condition. Um, and obviously, if you want the nicer one, then you could buy a nicer one. So, 
perhaps there is something good that's going to come out of this. Perhaps we can do um, some more filming for no budget reviews. And, you know, I was going to do loads of walking around cars at the show, but perhaps there are some other interesting cars around that, that I can, um, that I can film instead in the area. Um, if you live between Eastley and, um, and Birmingham, perhaps soon on the way down or on the way up, then I'll be able to, um, you know, film cars in that area too. Obviously it's entirely up to you. I know there is advice about what you are and allow, what you are and are not allowed to do in at this sort of time, but you know, that's, uh, it'd be nice to see some more stuff. Um, there's more videos I've got planned this week on topics which don't require me to film a car necessarily. Um, and I know some of you just enjoy those as they are, and that's great, but I would like to bring some more variety to the channel if I can. So there we are. Uh, things have taken an unexpected turn already this week, as most of you in the world will know, but we'll try to make the best of it if we can. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below. Way to get in touch with me. Um, as I said in the No Budget Reviews episode, you'll see that there's an email address that I actually stated in the last episode. I'll put that in the description below and you can get in touch with me. JAPL745 at hotmail.com. Thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching.